Okay, this is Pam from Creative Homescaping, and welcome to my second only live video. And of course, wouldn't you know, my heater decides to come on right as I turn on the video. Hi there, Mary. Hi, painting the roses red. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that noise in the background, but my heater just decided to come on. Nice to see you too. So I am just trying to get set up here and I have a few items I got at Target. Um, I think all of it came from the Target uh, Bullseye's Playground area. Oh, that's good. Thank you for letting me know that. So, um, yeah, there's vents right to my left and they blow directly onto where I'm sitting right now. And I was hoping they wouldn't come on, but they did. And uh, uh, so if you can't hear me, just at some point, just let me know. And then I also have a haul of items I got from Pier 1 during their after holiday sale. And there's some fall items and there's some uh, Christmas holiday type items and then I thought I, we could also have a chat I'm gonna talk about a little bit about what I want to focus on personally during 2019 I don't make resolutions I tend to make more goals or or focuses and uh, then I wanted to remind everybody about the $10 Tablescape Tuesday open invite challenge that Creative Lori and I have coming up. So I think we have about five people on now and I'm just looking over to my right. Hi Del. Um, I am looking over to my right because I have my I have another channel up where I can see the actual feed in case the comments disappear so I can look at them off screen. So I think we have a few people more who've just joined. So let me know, what would you like to see first? Do you want to see the things I got from Target first or the things I got from Pier 1? I think I got more things from Pier 1, and I think I got some better deals from Pier 1, so you want to see Pier 1 first. Okay. <laughs> Everyone wants to see Pier 1. Okay. All right, so I will start with the Pier 1 items. Now, one of the things I like to do, I don't know if any of you do this, is I like to go on the Pier 1 website periodically and I go to the clearance section of the website and then I sort by lowest price to highest price. Yes, they do, Del. And um, when I do that, then I am checking to see if there's anything I've seen in the stores that is on uh, you know, really deep clearance or anything I might want to pick up. So I did that earlier this week because I wasn't sure how much I would actually find in the stores when I went there. And one of the things I was looking to see if they had were some cloth napkins that were on sale. And I, when I went on that website, I saw that these napkins were on sale. And they have kind of a coral color stripe. And I don't know if you follow this at all, but I do sort of because my younger daughter just got her fashion design degree. But uh, I think the color is Living Coral is the color that's coming up for this year that you might find a lot of things in. So I thought it might be nice to pick these up. They look to be uh, muslin 
with this pattern and then they have kind of a zigzag detail around the edge and I I don't usually get items that are specifically seasonal because that way you can mix and match and use them uh, at different times of the year but I thought these could be nice for Easter or Valentine's Day or Mother's Day or any other spring tables uh, scape or even into summer if you were doing more muted tones for your patriotic decor. So I noticed that the original price on these was $4.95 and they were now $1.18. And they are a pretty good size as you can see. And um, so I wanted to pick some of those up. And if you go on the website, it will tell you how many they have at a particular store. So I could tell which store in my area had these napkins. And I thought, well, I'll go to that store first and see what I find. And that store had a lot of fall. Yes. I agree. Um, and, and then you might be able to tell, I, and then you can sometimes, if you have other colors you can uh, that you want to use with it, you can mix and match with that. So if you had some plain ones that were this color, the peachy color, the corally color, it would still look like a cohesive place setting. And I have a lot of, I have napkins that are this color, and I think um, if you've watched my tablescaping videos, sometimes I layer the napkins so I can have one for the lap and one for people to keep by their plate. Um, so anyway, I found that one of my local stores supposedly had 12 of these. And I thought, oh, well, that's a really good deal. So I'm going to go down there and see what they had. But then I found they had some other items that were on sale that weren't even on the website anymore. And I decided to pick up a few of those things as well. And then of course, I went around to other uh, other pier ones that are not too far from my house and found some things. So I don't remember which ones I got where. I got the bulk of my items at the very first one. They seem to have the most items available. But this is what I initially went in for. Hi, Michelle. You joined in. Okay, so for those of you who uh, are subbies of mine, um, the Michelle that just joined and I have known each other since high school. So she's being supportive of me right now. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Bowie looked exhausted in his photo. Um. Bowie is Michelle's husky, so you can tell Bowie he's famous now, Michelle. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I went in for, and then I found some other things. So I'm going to show you the rest of the things that I found from Pier 1, since you, you said you wanted to see that first. So first I'll show you the uh, holiday items that I found, since those were at the front of the store. And no surprise to those of you who saw my... Christmas videos, but when I saw these, I knew I had to get them. They are gift tags, and the bottom one has a penguin on it with a little Nordic-type sweater. And when I went in, the Christmas was 70% off. So these were originally, can you see that? They were originally uh, $1.99, so $2. So this package of 16 was uh, 60 cents. So I thought for 60 cents I can pick this up even though I really don't need more tags. So that was the first thing I spotted. And then the next thing I spotted were some napkin rings like some I had picked up a few years ago on really deep discount. And I only had found a few of them at the time, but there are these snowflake napkin rings. So I think I'd only found four of those when I went one time, and I think I got them at 90% off. 
so they were like 50 cents a piece because the price the original price is was 4.99 on these so these were 70 percent off so i found a few more of them so these were a dollar 50 but you know you can't find anything like this at dollar tree with this much sparkle and so forth on it so i got a few more of those I think they tend to bring them back every year. Yeah, that's what I thought. And they aren't just for Christmas time. You know, you can use them all winter long, which I like about that. They're appropriate for any uh, winter time holiday. And then that store had not very many holiday ornaments left, but they did have a few and I love birds. So I am planning on maybe next year doing more of a Victorian nutcracker theme because we actually have quite a few standing nutcrackers and then we have some nutcracker ornaments that people have given to my younger daughter over the years since she used to do ballet. And I thought these would fit in well with them. And there are these velvet birds with bows on their tails. And I found four of those. And they were originally four ninety nine. I don't know if you can see that. So they ended up being a dollar fifty. And they do have clips on the bottom, alligator style clips. Um, let me see if I can get it off of the card here so I can show that to you. So you could use these, see the alligator clips? Hey Lori! Thanks for joining. No problem. I'm starting with the Pier 1 things because I asked who wanted to uh, see Pier 1 first or if people wanted to see Target first and People that responded to Pier 1. So I'm showing some of the items I got. And you could put this on a wreath. You could put them on a, a uh, garland. You can put them on the tree. You can put them on a swag. So I'm hoping to be able to incorporate those next year into my decor. And then... That store also had a lot of uh, greenery still, like floral uh, pieces that you would use to make floral arrangements. So hang on one second, I need to bend down to get those items. Okay, this was perfect because I am planning on transitioning to more of a winter type neutral decor before I do spring. And these weren't overtly Christmas type items. So the first things I saw were these sprays. And I don't know if you can tell, but they have a little bit of glitter, not too much. So they look sort of frost, frosted like branches would when you are when they dusted with snow and those were originally $4.99 so they were $1.50 a piece and they're much thicker and better quality than what you would find at the Dollar Tree so for just a little bit more money you could get get some of this greenery that is is higher much higher quality and then yeah that's what I thought and then they had they had a whole bunch of those, so I, I think there were eight of those, so I got those because I'm planning on putting them on my mantle and maybe my dining room table. And then they had a couple of these also. These were a little bit more. There are these pine cone sprays that are also uh, bleached. Hi, Yanni. 
<laughs> okay, well, I'm glad you were able to join in. For those of you who don't know, uh, Yanni and... Yes, yes. Look at that. Hi, Davida. Uh, Yanni is actually in the Netherlands, so it's quite late there for her. So, I'm glad you were able to catch me, Davida. <laughs> so, there were two of these pine cone sprays at that store. And then they had, oh, I didn't tell you how much they were. So, these were originally $6. So, this was about $1.80 for this whole spray of pine cones, which I thought was a really good price. And then they had these eucalyptus sprays that were also $5.99 originally. And they're sort of a silvery champagne color. So I thought, you know, the pine cones you could use fall going into winter. And even the eucalyptus ones you could as well. Yes, I wish they'd had more. They only had two and I didn't see any of them at the other stores because I would have picked up more but uh these were also $5.99 like I said so $1.80 when I bought them and then the next one is the last floral item that I got and I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not because it's a little gaudier than I would normally get but I think it would make a very a statement at the as a topper maybe on the tree or in a big centerpiece arrangement so I did go ahead and get them and there are these giant poinsettias and they have kind of a sage green back petal and then they have this uh, it's more of a lame front petal area and they are huge. See, look, they cover me up completely. <laughs> oh, this is good. I'm not looking so good today because I'm really congested. So maybe I should just do the rest of the video like this. So you can't see the uh, dark circles under my eyes for my congestion. <laughs> but they had two of these and I was thinking maybe I could use them to create a spray at the top of one of my trees next year, like this. <laughs> okay, Lori, I'll, I'll uncover my face. Yeah. So, see how they all kind of go together? And that's just me holding them up. Wouldn't that look pretty as a tree topper? And I thought the colors are soft enough, and then you have the birds and interspersed with it to bring a little bit, bit of color. So I went ahead and got all of those, even though I hadn't been intending to, uh, to really buy florals. So I got those. And then, let me put those away. And then I went into the, yes, that's what I was hoping, Del. <laughs> was Victorian. So then I went into where the dishes were and um, I noticed that they had these plaid watercolor plates 50% off. Now if you saw my plaid tablescape in the fall, you know, oh, me too. Like I need more dishes, but if you saw my plaid tablescaping video that I did in the fall, I only bought four of these and I interspersed them with my red ones because I didn't want to spend a lot of money and I did have a $10 off coupon when I got them originally, but they were $6.95 and this price tag says $4.78, but they actually rang up, I think at 50% off when I, when I got to the register and I thought, well, 
I don't know if these will last and go on any more clearance, so I did decide to get a few more of those since they were on sale. And they're, they're turning out to be really versatile. Well, you know what, <laughs> before the holidays, I went through and I did a pretty big purge, which I filmed, but I never actually uh, edited and showed. But my whole trunk of my car was filled up with items that I donated to Goodwill because I, I have a mantra now that if I, bring, if I wanna bring something new into the house, then I have to let go of at least an equal amount of things before I can bring something new in. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like me, Lori, but, uh, but I did go through and my, my trunk of my car was filled up with things so that I felt like if I did want to go to after holiday sales, I wouldn't feel so bad about bringing something in because I knew I would have the space for it. So, and and I do have room for these. And like I started to say, these have been so versatile that you, you really can use them all year round, black and white. So I, I thought I would get more of those. But these next items are more seasonal and I just couldn't pass by this one. More dishes. Yes, that's a good idea, Del. I, I tend to hang on to my chipped and crazed dishes too, but um, I'm actually, I need to go through some more and get rid of some that are in my cabinets. I haven't done that part yet, and I have some dishes that I had been saving for when my daughters were at college, and they used them when they were away and I don't know if I'm going to keep them because they were my original dishes when I first had my first apartment so we'll see I'm not sure if I can bear to part with them but but at one of the stores I was in I saw this and usually I try to not buy things that are specific to one holiday but I had seen this on a mug and Sorry about that noise. My my uh, daughter was heating something up in the microwave. And so anyway, I'm just going to show it to you. Okay. I love kitties. This plate was originally $6.99. Oops. And it was $0.68. Cents. And they had three of them. Oh, well, good for you, Dale. <laughs> That's good. But uh, I wish they had had four of these, um, but they only had three. So I, but for 68 cents, I thought, oh my gosh, I cannot pass by this cute little adorable kitty. And we have two kitties in this house. Neither of them look like this. But I thought if my fall dessert plates, which are, are um, kind of a beige pumpkin shape, if any of those ever break, I could intersperse these with that and it would be fine. So <laughs> I could, I could send you one, Lori, if you really want one. <laughs> And then they had some mugs, and a lot of my mugs are actually chipped or crazed, and I, uh, that's true. That is very true. Um, I, w I would have an even number of them. Um, so I am going to tr slowly try to replace them. However, this one I don't think will fit in my mug cabinet, but I did buy two of these. These were originally $7.99, and they are sort of uh, pumpkin shape, um, but they're very neutral color with this leaf on it, so I thought this would work all through fall and winter. And did I say this? 
78 cents for this mug. And it, it I don't know how big it is. I, this is probably 16 ounces. This doesn't quite cover my face. You can still get my forehead in there. Not as big as the flower was, but <laughs> they're very big. So I did go ahead and get two of those. So that was it for the dishes. <laughs> That's for when you really need a big cup of tea or a big cup of coffee or something when you're really sleepy. <laughs> and then I went to the back area of uh, the stores and they still had some autumn decor that was like bigger pieces at the one store. And so the first thing I spotted was this pillow and I actually have a, a, a down pillow insert that is this size and this just says happy autumn. And these colors are colors that I have throughout my house, but mostly in my upstairs bonus room area. I have um, dark brown velveteen drapes that I made, and then I have teal and blue accent colors. And this pillow was originally $14.99, and it was 90% off. So it was a dollar forty-eight. So I'm like, I cannot make this for a dollar forty-eight. <laughs> yes, Dell, that those back corner ones are not good. But I could not make this for a dollar forty-eight myself. And it does have the zipper. So what I usually do is I take these inserts out because I don't like the polyfill. Um, if I need polyfill for some other purpose, then I might keep them, or I will um, just, my my, uh, my recycling actually takes things like this, so I will, if I don't need it for any purpose, then I stick it in our recycling. But I like the pillow covers with the zippers because that way you're not having to store pillows and I can just take the covers off and on and store the covers and not the pillows. So, so 149, I'm put that down. Okay. And then I couldn't believe these. So I'll show you the less expensive one first. It's actually the bigger one, but they had some fall artwork and Lori, this is what I was telling you about. Okay, this piece was originally $29.99. Okay, normally I don't buy big seasonal artwork because it's hard to store. But look at this. <laughs> I think I can get it all in the shot here. Okay, this was originally $29.99. So it was... I think this will come off. Can you see that? Two ninety eight. Two ninety eight for this huge thing. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I I can get that, and I have a spot where I usually put up a seasonal picture. Yeah, if you had a covered porch. It would go well, and yeah, they, you would. They, I've never seen their seasonal stuff go uh, last in the store at fifty percent, anything over fifty percent off. And there was another one that goes with the pillow, sort of. Um, has the same style of script. This was originally thirty nine ninety five. So it was $3.95. And look at that. That's all very big. Not as big as the other one, but this one is this one is canvas. And the other one was wood. So yes, isn't it pretty? And this 
you know, if, if it weren't for the pumpkins, you could actually probably keep it up all year round. But, you know, it's definitely not just Halloween, not just Thanksgiving. You could use that all fall. So, oh, one more Pier 1 item. And this was actually the last store I went into. And I was shocked. I was shocked when I first saw it because this is the side that I saw. And I thought, oh, look at that. A pretty, yes, they do kind of look like flowers, Dell. Speaking of which, look, I saw this and I thought, oh, what a pretty spring bouquet with the pink pink flowers here. Why, somebody must have put this down. And it's really in the clearance because they decided they didn't want it. And uh, it, this can't be on clearance. And then I turned it around, and what was in there? There was a pumpkin in there. Doesn't this look like a spring bouquet? And it's an urn. This is like a resin urn. Okay, so this was originally $24.99, and it was on sale for $2.48. 248 for this whole thing earn all these flowers with one little pumpkin in it and there were two of them yes that was my thought exactly I looked at it and it's on a pick and I can just actually snip it off if I want to or I could even like put stuff around it like other flowers so I don't have to take it out and then I can just sort of cover cover it up but I don't even need to do that because I can turn it this way and look at that gorgeous flower <laughs> and if I hold it like this you don't even see the pumpkin so who am I okay I thought when I got those urns at the garage sale for two dollars that I showed in a video one time that that was good but this is a whole arrangement with really realistic roses and other things so how could I leave these in the store <laughs> so here one really got me but uh you know I, I thought those prices I just couldn't beat so if you have pier one near you you should check them out and see if they have any of these things in, in in stock. I'm glad you were able to stop by too, Davida. I hope you have a great evening. <laughs> yeah, Lori, I, I know. Me too. Me too. So I think that was it for the Pier 1 items that I got, but... A lot of it was on 90% off. Not everything. Not everything, but a lot of it was. And Lori, I was, before you joined, I was saying I originally had gone on the Pier 1 website to see what they were showing on clearance and which stores had them. And I had seen these um, napkins, and I thought because the color of the year is coral, that it would work well with with some tablescapes and that's when I saw they still had Christmas and uh, fall things up and I went, went through and got stuff yeah aren't they nice they're very they're they're um, kind of a muslin sort of material but I thought they would work well for a lot of different seasons and a lot of different tablescapes so I went in specifically for those. They were they were about 25%. I mean, sorry, 75% off. Hi, Angela. So, Angela, you just missed my giant Pier 1 stuff. So, 
but I know you've been going into Pier 1 and looking around. So you may have seen some of my clearance things I just showed you that I hauled. Anywhere between 50% off and 90% off. I will show you this, though, in case you haven't seen these, Angela. My store had just marked these down 90% off. These huge pieces of artwork from the fall. So this one that was three thirty, you know, almost forty dollars. It was this was three ninety eight. I'm trying to back up so you can see it. <laughs> and if you go back and look at the video later, I got one that's even bigger. It was cheaper though because it wasn't canvas, and it was uh, two ninety eight. It's it's huge. Well, actually, I'll hold it up again, just just real quick. Okay, there you go. See, this is even bigger. Two ninety eight. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. You too. Thanks for stopping by. So, if you're looking for fall and um, holiday decor. Go back to Pier 1 because they still have some things in there now. Uh, at least earlier this week, they the Christmas things were 70% off and most of the fall items were 90% off. So that's my haul. I'm sorry if you... Can you hear my daughters in the background? I think they're playing a video game. Yeah, they they might, Lori. My porch is not really covered. It's slightly covered and it's a southern exposure. So I don't actually like to put artwork out there because it's... Oh, thanks for letting me know, Michelle. They're making a lot of noise upstairs. <laughs> um, so I don't like to put out, going back to my porch, art out there for very long because it really gets sunburned so which is too bad but oh well so now um I thought I would show you what I got at Target I'll just show you one mundane item first and then the rest of it came from the dollar spot so I re try to reuse Well, first you have to fly down here. <laughs> I might have to watch out for DeVita, though. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Angela, check the back corners of the store. Della's right. That's where my stores tend to put all the clearance things. Or they put them on red racks that they have in the middle of the store. Do you only have one near you, Angela? I went, I ended up going to four because there's four that are pretty within like five miles of where I live. I can get to four pretty easily. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, one's about One's about 10 minutes from my house, and there's another one that's about 15 minutes from my house, and then there's, I actually have five, but I didn't go to the fifth one. Um, and then there, the three others are about 20 minutes from my house. So if I happen to be over by where they are, then I'll go to them. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that you only have the one. But, uh, okay, so the first thing, yeah. And I can get to more. They're a little farther away. Um, when I was looking for some items for my younger daughter's 16th birthday party, we went to seven stores because there were these little tiny birds. Odell, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, Yanni. Have a good evening, rest of your evening. <laughs> so I um, 
Yeah, so we were looking for these little tiny birds, and the problem with the little tiny birds was they came in five different colors. And the SKU number, the stock keeping unit number for the birds was the same, no matter what color they were. And she wanted all lavender. And just and they were they were little birds similar to this. You'll see that if you watched um, her 16th birthday party video, they I show them in there. But they were similar to this. They had clips on them, and they had little top hats. And so we found enough of the baskets, the lavender baskets, in two different pier ones. But we had to go to seven pier ones to find enough of the little lavender birds. <laughs> I don't. I said I am never doing this again. <laughs> But it was special because it was her 16th birthday party. So, anyway, my mundane item from Target uh, is the adhesive for command hooks. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. So, if my command hooks don't break, I keep them. And then I just get these adhesive packages. And that way I can reuse the hooks without having to buy a whole new package of hooks. You can't always find just the adhesive though and my one of the targets happened to have this. So I got that. And then I got some other items. These are all, yeah. Sometimes they break when they you take them off, but um, if they don't, I have a little drawer in my laundry room that I keep them in. And so that's why I do that. Okay, now this I am going to do a DIY on as part of a challenge for um, set that secondhand Tracy Ann is doing. And you'll see in a minute why I'm going to DIY this. This is a little bit gaudy for me, for my decor, and I don't have little kids anymore. But secondhand Tracy Ann is having a an open invite for a mailbox challenge. And while I do have a mailbox that is just for my house out in front of my house, and, and it is on a post, my homeowners association does not allow us to decorate our mailboxes. And actually, I don't know if you know this, but the postal service regulations actually say you're not supposed to put anything on the outside of your mailbox. Um, so anyway, I cannot put anything on my mailbox. So I am going to do a little bit of a makeover on this. And this is going to be my mailbox for Tracy's mailbox challenge. That is exactly what I'm going to do, Dell. I think I'm going to chalk paint that. And then I may put some washi tape around the edges just to give it a little definition. And I may actually end up using this washi, which I'll show you in a second. You may not be able to see it too well, but it's this XO washi. I think that it looks like this when it's undone. Oh, you can see it on the back. XO. So once I've chalk painted this white, then I may put the washi around the edge. So you'll see me do that in a DIY that goes along with that challenge. And that way I can participate in a challenge without breaking my HOA rules. <laughs> and pretty inexpensively because the washi was a dollar and the mailbox was three dollars. So that's not that much. Yes, I know, because her mantle challenge is XO. And I have, I, I was thinking about using the washi on for something for that, but I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Um, I don't know about you, but um, af after the holiday was over, I just wanted to clear everything out and have my space look kind of neutral for a little bit of time. Um, the penguins that I used, don't make, uh, yeah, <laughs> I try not to do that, Lori, <laughs> but, uh, 
I, uh, if you saw my holiday videos, I think most of you did, my family room was all penguins, very colorful, very whimsical, and my living room was more traditional colors. Um, it was somewhat muted, but I did have uh, red and uh, green tartan type plaids in there. And as I was taking things down, I just wanted to, yes, she does. I love her challenge ideas. Um, and speaking of which, Lori and I have a challenge, which I'll remind you about in a little bit. But as I was taking things down, I wanted what I'm calling a palette cleanser. Um, if you know about fine dining, they will often serve you a little bit of sorbet in between courses of meals. And it's supposed to cleanse your palate of any tastes that you have left from the prior course. So, for instance, if your first course was a seafood bisque, and then you're going to be having a very delicate salad uh, after it, they might give you a little bit, little tiny dish of sorbet as a palate cleanser so that you don't taste the strong seafood flavor while you're eating your apple uh, and walnut salad or whatever it is that they're serving you next. So I want to give a visual palate cleanser to my house and have everything be very calm and neutral. So I don't want to use a lot of uh, color. That's why I'm thinking in a sort of frosted winter for a while. So that was kind of behind what I picked up at the dollar spot. But I, I do want to participate in Tracy's mantle challenge. So I will be decorating my mantle for Valentine's Day. Yeah, it is, it is nice when they do that. Um, and one of the things that you need to have for the mantle is um, a banner of some sort. So I did pick up a couple of options. And one of them I found... And I haven't seen anybody haul this. Maybe they have, but I haven't seen anyone haul this. Was this window pane check garland banner? And it's it looks like it's canvas material with the window pane check. <laughs> I know you always say that, Lori. You're like I said in that comment. Your mantle looks ex almost exactly like the one I had in my, in our condo it was so narrow you could hardly sit anything on it so I understand about that but I thought this was nice and neutral and you could use this any time of the year and then it has um, faux leather tabs on it and then faux leather cording uh, and you can kind of see right there what it looks like <laughs> Well, you could you can make a fake one, <laughs> a fake one like my like my mailbox is going to be Angela. So you could create something that you put above your fireplace so that it it makes it look like a mantle, kind of like since you do have a fireplace, like Lori said. <laughs> but so this is my first first option and the second one's probably more of a garland than a banner although it is strung um that it's black white and gold hearts and i thought well they're black white and gold so you could actually use these for other things like birthdays or other parties um hearts don't necessarily need to be just for valentine's day so I went ahead and got that. So you have to come back to see which one I end up using or how I use those. And I'm sorry about the crinkling, but they're still in their package. And then, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I'm just taking these kind of in random order. Obviously, it's for a coffee or cocoa bar, but um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use them 
this season or not. But I did find these labels that you can find sometimes. Oh, that's nice, Dell. Thanks, Lori. That's what I thought. It w would be versatile. Um, but I did find these labels. They're on... Uh, I think the labels are actually clear. But they're right now they're backed on this kind of... Um, Wrap, brown wrapping paper type thing. Um, but I haven't pulled them off yet. I'm hoping they're on the brown wrapping paper thing because I might want to use them on some jars that are clear and I they wouldn't show up that well on clear jars. So I went ahead and got them because they were only a dollar. Both of the banners were three dollars. I forgot to mention that to you. Three dollars. Yeah, I thought these were really cute. So, I have never put labels on anything in my, my uh, coffee bar before, but I thought I would try it out maybe this year. Um, and I'm going to talk about something in a, at the end, my focus for the year, and you'll see why I, then I may use those labels. Um, then I saw this, and I haven't seen anybody else with this. Uh, hauling this or showing this um, but it's this canvas hanging wall storage bag and it's a lot like the jewelry organizer that I have put um, coffee bar chat. oh I haven't had a chance to watch that video yet, Angela? Does she have a challenge coming up for a coffee bar? Are you are you doing it with her like you did with Shell, or is it just hers? Um. Anyway, this. Oh, okay. I'll have to go take a look at that. I I am so behind on watching videos. <laughs> Not sure I can squeeze it in, but uh, I do have my bar, my coffee bar uh, undecorated from Christmas, so it wouldn't be too hard to set it up. Yeah, Lori, you might be able to get a piece of wood that adheres, that you could screw into the top of your mantle that would make it a little bit wider of a platform for you to be able to put something on so that you would have more room to decorate. But I haven't taken this apart. It does hang down. It is canvas. It looks very well made. It has ribbon over the tops of, well, it's, it's not actually ribbon. It's more like a binding tape, a woven binding tape. And it's thick. Um, that's stitched on here to these pockets. Let me see if I can get it taken out here quickly so you can see it undone. Because it, it looks nice and it was only $3. And I have this cabinet upstairs that I'm wanting to organize some of my craft supplies in. So this is what it looks like. So it has these larger pockets down at the bottom here and then here and here okay bye Angela thanks for joining us and so I thought I might actually hang this on the back of a door cabinet door in that uh, it's actually my old entertainment center that we don't use as an entertainment center anymore. But I thought I might hang this on the back of the door since it's short enough it wouldn't interfere with things. And I could put some supplies in there. So you may see this coming back in a future video. But I couldn't make this for $3. That's kind of my... Um, 
my mantra for purchasing something. If I can't make it for three dollars, then or for the price that it cost me to buy it, and it's something I want, um. Yeah, then I, or something I think I need for organizational, then I'll go ahead and get it. Yeah. Um, I missed your comment about the tools, Michelle. I know you have a bunch of tools. <laughs> okay, one, one last item I'm getting, and th this was also from the dollar spot. And I have seen people haul these, and these are three dollars. And I have a very specific reason I bought them. And you'll see going forward. Yes, that's what I thought. I I don't have a lot of um, I don't have a lot of like um, punches or like scissors that have decorative edges on them. So I was thinking maybe I could put some of those in here. I have them stored in little drawers right now, but I'm trying to get rid of the little drawers because it, things kind of get bunched up in them. So that's what I'm thinking I might use this for. I'm sorry, I keep jumping around because I see the comments and I want to make sure I, I uh, respond. But okay, so I have seen people with these. And I ended up getting a couple of them. These are the cross skis from the Target Bullseyes Playground area. But um, they look like they're balsa wood. They had two versions. They had some that were painted all white. And then they had some that were this natural color. Yes. Those would work too. So would, uh, if you don't have a lot of washi tape, you could put some of the washi tape in there. Um, we'll, we'll see what it turns out to be once I get in there and do that. I'll, I'm definitely going to film that whole redo of that cabinet and show it in a video, but that's probably a few weeks away at least right now. But So Lori, you almost picked these up. I did get two. I debated about getting the white ones or these, but I went with these. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I have you heard me say before that I think chocolate is a necessary food group. <laughs> but they are pretty big. Since I've been putting things by my face, here, here they are. I thought these looked so much more expensive than the $3. And again, I have seen some people, um, oh, you agree about the chocolate, Lori? <laughs> I've seen some people, um, there you go, Della Reese too. <laughs> Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I've seen some people do these using some Dollar Tree incense sticks, but, you know, it probably cost them, they didn't have, I, I think it cost them at least $3 to put them together if they also wanted to create poles because there's at least three pieces here and I think it, you had to pay a dollar for each of the sticks and they're not nearly so big. So this is not something I would have been able to make because of, I could have asked my husband probably, but yeah, but see, they are actually curved at the end here and, um, this one, actually, the lamination is coming off, off a little bit. Yeah, they would, Michelle. I'm going to use them for something else. But you can see they're pretty thick. They're probably a good quarter of an inch thick. And 
with at least um, you know multiple layers of the lamination and they feel very very sturdy so I think they're going to hold up pretty well so you will definitely be seeing those in a future video so wow we've been on an hour already <laughs> So the, there's just a couple more things I wanted to talk about. Hi, Wonderful Life. Oh, Australia. What part of Australia? Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> I have always wanted to go to Australia because my absolute, absolute favorite animal since I was six years old um, has been the koala. So someday I'm going to get to Australia and I am going to go to the koala reserves yeah, you knew that, Michelle. <laughs> Hunt for gold, Lori? Wow. I think they do a lot of rock hounding there, too. So he might like that, too. But, uh, uh, and then when, um, my younger daughter graduated from high school, we gave her the option because her favorite animals are penguins and I said okay um, for your graduation present how about a trip oh yeah great barrier reef <laughs> thank you um, so I, we gave her the option of a trip to Australia and New Zealand where she could see the blue fairy penguins and I could see koalas um, or we would take her to Europe, and, and she's been to Europe before. Um, my mother-in-law is from Germany, so we have gone to Germany to visit some relatives there, and then we had taken our daughters there on a trip with my brother and my nephew. When um, my nephew had been about to graduate from high school, and... Uh, so, but she just, oh, that's neat, Del. Yeah, I, I really, I'm going to get there someday. Someday. My husband really wants to go to New Zealand. So, um, I we will get there and I will get to see those koalas. But I am really lucky, as Michelle knows, because Michelle is down in San Diego. Uh, one of the only places where they have koalas outside of Australia is at the San Diego Zoo and Wild Animal Park. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He is. So, um, I have, I have gotten to see them pretty close up, but I want to be able to see them, see them in their natural habitat. I would just love to do that because I just have always loved those that love them. I I don't I'm I'm not really good about doing social media as much as as a lot of YouTubers are. And uh, so, but one of the things I follow on Facebook are people who post pictures of koalas in their natural habitat. Yes, that's what I was talking about. The zoo has the um, Australia exhibit, and they redid redid the koala portion of it a few years ago. They called it Koala Fornia, and they have been really successful in um, helping in, in their breeding program to try to, um, you know help koalas because a lot of the koalas natural habitat is is disappearing because of the building that's going on 
Have you been there, Del? I I have I mixed with about the zoos, but I really like San Diego because they try to make the exhibits as natural as possible, and they are also very instrumental in um, trying to do research into uh, sustaining animals who are on endangered species list. Like if it weren't for them, um, the California condor. Uh, which is a, a, a very large bird, uh, 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 it, they would have gone extinct. It was down to like 12 uh, birds at one point, and they have managed to bring them back from the point of extinction. So I there are a lot of zoos out there which are not good, but that is their world-class one. Yes, exactly, Dell. So they are one I definitely um, am supportive of. So if you've never, if if you've, if you ever get the chance to go to California and uh, go to the San Diego Zoo and Wild Animal Parks, they are like, if you're going to have a zoo, that's what you want. You want them, the ones that are like this one, where they're trying to have the animals there to educate people. Uh, about the animals and show why we need them and why it's important to, to keep them out there. So I digress. <laughs> but welcome from Australia. I'm glad to have you have you watching. Um, so I did want to mention, remind those of you who are still on about Lori's and my um, upcoming $10 Tablescape Tuesday challenge. You don't have to spend any money if you don't want to. That's what we're, but if you do want to spend some money, no more than $10 if you are a fellow YouTuber. And it's going to be a quarterly challenge. It's an open invite. And for this first quarter of 2019, it's going to air on uh, January 22nd. So Lori and I are getting ready for that. And we are going to show no cost tablescapes and ours, and then some suggestions about how you could enhance it if you have $10 that you want to spend on that. So yeah, it is an open, open invite. So if you are a YouTuber and you're catching this after live, oh, I think I need to uh, set you up in settings, Lori, like you have with me with the wrench, and I didn't get a chance to do that before I went live, so I will have to do that on my laptop. I couldn't do it on my phone, um, and then I will, uh, then you should be able to add the links in, but I will definitely put a link to that in the description box after the video, this live video renders. Um... And then the other thing I wanted to talk about was my focus for 2019. And at the beginning of our chat, I said, I don't really set resolutions. I think I've mentioned this before. When I was little one time, I asked my mother if she was making any resolutions because they'd made us write out our resolutions in school when I was in elementary school. And... She said she had made a resolution never to make any resol more resolutions, and that's the only one she ever managed to keep. So I liked that. <laughs> so I decided to do that. But I am into setting goals, and I am into um, setting like something you want to focus on and how you can um, improve your life um, so that you can feel like yeah. <laughs> so you can feel like you are more in charge of your life as a as an adult rather than life just happening to you because um for those of us who have worked outside the home or who have had children or you know even if you are a a domestic engineer um, stay at home person, we all have things that pull us in different directions all the time. And sometimes it just feels like you're going through life and life is um, happening to you 
instead of you controlling your life. So I always like to try to have something to focus on and um, that's related to what I value in my life and tie it into that so that I feel like I am in control of my life and things aren't just constantly happening to me without me having that control. So for 2019, I decided what I was going to do was minimize to maximize. So what I wanted to do was minimize stuff, minimize spending, and minimize cleaning. I am by no means going to become a minimalist. I like my dishes too much, as you can tell by my clearance things. <laughs> exactly, Dell. But what I do want to do is, I know there are things in my house that I have, I needed at one point that I don't need anymore. Or things that I loved once, but I don't love them anymore. Or things that I've been keeping because maybe you, I would need them someday, but I've had them for 10 years and I've never needed them. So at this point, if I need those things, I could have gone out and just gotten it again and it wouldn't be taking up valuable space in my home for things that I absolutely love. Again, the little key. <laughs> so, like I said earlier, I, I have a rule that if I'm bringing something new in, I need to get rid of at least the same amount of things. So I do that with my clothes and I do that with my home decor pieces. And I did do a big clean out of home decor things before the holidays. And so I didn't feel so bad about getting the things in my haul and I got. Um, but I also do want to minimize my um, spending because uh, some of you know this, some of you don't. Um, I, I worked for a, a long time. I had some fairly high level positions with a lot of responsibility. Yeah, it's very freeing, Dill. Yeah, very freeing. Um, and I, my, and so I wanted to be able to do things like travel. I wanted to be able to put my daughters through college without having to incur any student loans or debts to do it. I wanted to be able to save for retirement. I wanted to be able to have my own home with my husband. So, you know, those were all financial goals that I had. And, but my husband and I had, a, had an agreement that once, once we had my daughters through college and that was all paid for and we had a, a pretty good sum set aside for retirement that I could change gears and do something else. And if that something else was just staying home, then that's what that I would do. So thank you, Lori. <laughs> so both my daughters are now done with college. I don't need to do that anymore. Um, you know, we, we, we have a pretty good nest egg. We have our house. But so almost a year ago now, I think it was January. I want to say it was January 19th last year was my last day of working at a corporate type job. So I resigned right after I came back from my holiday vacation. I gave only two weeks notice because they were about to start on a big project that if I had stayed longer, I would have been right in the middle of and would have been running and they wouldn't have wanted me to leave in the middle of that. And so I thought I needed to just rip the bandaid off and they need to realize they have to find somebody else to do this. So for the past year, we've been living off of just my husband's income which we had planned for, so that's not an issue, but I don't want to spend excessive amounts on things I don't need or that are beyond the budget that I set myself 
for doing things I love, like decorating my home. I did put that in my budget so I could buy some things periodically um, for the home. I didn't want to be totally austere. So, but I do want to minimize where I can. I do want to minimize my stuff in general because I don't like cleaning it and dusting it. And so I don't want to have a lot of things that don't have a home to go into. So I'm going to continue to go through my belongings and, and um, get rid of things. So what I'm planning on doing is having a weekly focus for what I'm going through. And I'm going to call that um, my Maximize Mondays. So I may show some videos where I tell you what my focus for the week was. And then I show you a video of the things that I have gotten rid of. And hopefully by the end of the year, I will have a lot fewer belongings. And But the ones I do have are things that I re really love that are in good shape, that mean a lot to me, or that have been useful to me in some way, like organizational tools. And then... I, like I said, I want to minimize the amount of time I spend cleaning so I can have time to do other things like do these YouTube videos or travel, spend time with my husband, um, that sort of thing. So I, I just thought I would share that with you. Um, I may do a series I call also Thrifty Thursday on how I take items that are that you might not think about reusing and recycling and how you can use those in your home for other things. So um, I'm thinking about doing that also. So what do you think about those video ideas? Would, would any of you be interested in seeing that? There's only a few of you left on. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Michelle, I hope you and Bowie have a nice rest of the evening. Maybe we can chat later. Thanks, Stell. Okay. Well, good. I'll, I'll probably post a few of them and see how people like them. And, um, okay. Thanks, Michelle. And, uh, see how they do. And... Yeah, I know you do that a lot with your crafts, Lori. Yeah, maybe maybe later on. <laughs> Bye, Michelle. Um, you do that a lot with your crafts, Lori. I'm thinking to, of doing it like with some organizational and dec decorating. I'm maybe some DIYs because like I did those DIY uh, Christmas poppers for one of the tablescapes, but there might be a few things in there like that. Um, but a lot of what I might do might be for organizational purposes, because I know a lot of people want to get organized. A lot those who those of us who do set resolutions, one of those is often organizations. <laughs> you repurpose it? Do you turn it into pet food? <laughs> <laughs> or do you t return it into something else? Like you've used it for one type of meal and then you turn it into something else. Because I do that. Like I'll, um, I might roast a chicken and then I save the carcass in the freezer. And then I might make um, broth out of it. I know you're, you're more vegetarian, but so that might offend you, but... <laughs> If I do that, I will I will recycle things like that. So Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Sorry, I need to drink some water. Well, it was nice chatting with you all. To those of you who are still on, I really appreciate your tuning in. That was everything. Be sure to um, check out Lori's channel, Creative Lori, and Yanni's channel, 
Gecko Easy, and I think we had a couple other people on earlier who have channels. Um, Davida Lane was on. She has a channel. I should have mentioned that as we were going along, but most of you know her. And Angela's Hangout, she has a channel. So um, please be sure to go back. I'm just looking through here. If I missed anybody, let me know. And uh, so please support them because they are, they are very supportive of, of the YouTube community. And uh, they have great channels as well. I'm subscribed to all of them. So if you're watching this as a replay, please go check them out if you aren't subscribed to them already. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for joining. Bye, Dell. Bye, Lori. Bye, everyone else who's on who didn't type in bye.